Wanting to become a judge dawned on me slowly. As a solicitor specialising in employment and discrimination law, I spent a lot of time in tribunals, mainly, I have to say, sitting behind counsel, but I liked what I saw on the bench. And I was drawn to the idea of being in charge of the proceedings and making the decisions. So I applied. I was lucky I got it. And once I started, I absolutely loved it. It was a luxury not to have to be partisan any longer. And it felt a privilege for people to come before you and want you to adjudicate on their disputes. So I got the bug and I wanted more. From that, I applied to be full time. I was unsuccessful first time, but I picked myself up and I tried again and continued to love it. And I was working in an area where I knew the law backwards, so that was helpful. After that, I got slightly restless, applied to be a recorder, ventured into crime, which was not a practice area that I was familiar with particularly, and then was lucky enough to become a circuit judge. So looking back, it was an organic process and there was no grand plan, but I gained confidence at each step of the way and then wanted a bit more. And I'm delighted that I've arrived. Well, I think there are internal challenges and external challenges, and you've got to deal with the internal challenges first. So as a solicitor, there is this slight collective sense of inferiority and an anxiety that our place is not on the bench, particularly as a woman. And you've got to overcome that and conquer that, because if you can't persuade yourself and believe in yourself, you won't be able to persuade anyone else, least of all the JAC. And it is important because we do fit in. There is a place for us and there is a role for us. And solicitors make excellent judges with all the skills they bring to bear. Part of the confidence gaining involves talking to other people and listen to the advice of colleagues and also understand when your self-doubt is not because of external things, but perhaps because you're not quite ready. Those, I think, were the biggest challenges. Well, it's very difficult to ask a judge or any lawyer to give a single bit of advice because we always like to give three answers, even when one will do. But I think for me, the best bit of advice is to say, be determined. If you decide to do it, go for it. Put the effort in, put the work in, and don't be disheartened if you're not successful first time. Most of us who apply for a judicial office will be unused to failure. And so it comes as a terrible shock to be rejected. Be prepared for that. Minimise the risk of that happening by putting the work in first and then be willing to give it another go because it is worth it. And I have to say, given my time again, I would have made exactly the same choices.